Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for your December 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what is next in love for you guys. So apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, switch the roles if you want. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in wanting to, uh, I think I said book, yeah, if you want to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below. And you will want to follow me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels. The links for those are in the description box below. So let's get started here and take a look and see what your overall theme, you know, the a dominating energy of regarding this read is, okay? Uh, so Scorpio, tell that Scorpio here. So Scorpio, we have juggling, having too much on their plate, dealing with multiple obligations at one time unable to make decisions based on confused emotions here. So some of you could be juggling you. You could be dealing with the Taurus here. Some of you could be born in 1965 or 1983 here, okay? There could be a huge age gap between you and your person. It doesn't have to be, um, but you know, just apply this to your own unique situations. We have divine feminine energy here. You know, you could, someone here could be 39 years old, all right? Uh, someone here could be, uh, yeah, strong Taurus energy. Could be dealing with the Taurus here or even the Libra, all right? Uh, but it, it does seem like there's a situation here where someone here is juggling you or that someone here is really truly taking you for granted here, Scorpio, okay? Let's see what else we have here for you guys, Scorpio. We also have uh, on the bottom of the deck, um, someone here could be 27 years old, okay? Great source of power. The dream team of change reunion creates exponential growth and highly influential and agents of change here. Now, you know, I feel like you could be recognizing the potential of, you know, what this relationship can be, but then there is someone else that's not really recognizing it, okay? Um, let's see what else we have here. What's next in love for Scorpio? What's next in love for Scorpio here? What's next in love for Scorpio for December 2024 for Scorpio? What's next in love for Scorpio? Okay, so we have the Justice card. Yeah, I really feel like someone here is taking you for granted here. We have the Justice card and also the Knight of Wands here. So there's a juggler here. This is an individual here that's very in and out, very inconsistent here. They're only looking for fun. They're only looking for a booty call here, okay? You know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here with the Justice card is kind of like see it for what it is and accept it here, Scorpio. Whoever this is, yeah, this is a divine counterpart here. Uh, twin flame energy here. So there is someone that you're dealing with here that's very in and out of your life um, where I feel like this connection that you have with this individual here, uh, Scorpio, is very intense, okay? So any of the, uh, these energies that could be showing up could be your person. You could have multiple of these energies also in your chart here. We have Sagittarius with Temperance, okay? Aries, Leo, uh, um, Libra, and Taurus. We have the Eight of Swords here and also the Ten of Swords. Wow. Seems to be like there seems to be a major betrayal that's coming here. Or that this person has betrayed you multiple times. Now, if you're still dealing with this individual here, okay, you could be worried in this energy of feeling worried. When is this person going to betray me again? Okay. So we have the Eight of Swords here and also we have the Ten of Swords. Let's see what else we have here. The Justice card. And the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. Okay. The Knight of Wands. And also the Fool card. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who's non-committal. But with the King of Cups here, I do feel like this person does, does have feelings here for you. This person could be running away from it, though. Yeah. This person could be completely aloof or that this person could just be just not really expressing their feelings here you know this person could go go kind of cold and aloof like i said we have the emperor here yeah the emperor aries energy and also the four of wands the temperance card and also the queen of swords i feel like this is you this is you turning your back on the situation here scorpio and really focusing on your peace and balance here this is someone actually that you don't really trust the eight of, eight of swords here and we have the seven of cups I just feel like, you know, when it comes to this individual here, I feel like you feel like you're losing your mind here. 
Yeah, you feel like you're losing your mind. You feel like you're going crazy with this individual. Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, I just feel like whatever this person says, I feel like this person, like, I feel like this person's energy is really hard to trust here. You know, with the Seven of Cups here, this, yeah, this person's definitely exploring other options. What else do we have here for Scorpio? What else does Scorpio need to know? Look out for a work on outcome and advice here for Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio. Seven of Swords, Three of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Eight of Wands, and also the Eight of Pentacles here. Okay, Seven of Swords, Three of Cups, Oops, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Eight of Wands, and also the Eight of Pentacles. All right. If you are separated from this person here, okay, there will be some sort of reconciliation here. But I do feel like this person will deceive you again and betray you again here. This is an individual here that keeps dropping the ball on here, Scorpio. Seven of Swords and the Hangman here. I just feel like this person has a hard time letting go of their behavior here, releasing this type of behavior here. I also feel like this person is having a hard time really gaining perspective of how their decisions here or how their behavior can affect others. It seems like you're dealing with someone here, Scorpio, who's very selfish. We have the Three of Cups and also the World card here. I do feel like because for your own sake here and just knowing what you're worth here, Scorpio, I do feel like, you know, a lot of guys are definitely uh, closing the door on this individual, okay? You know, when you do close this door on this individual here, I do feel like this person's going to feel very lonely or that this person's uh, triggers of abandonment will start coming up to the surface here. Uh, it does seem like this person might have some trauma surrounding that here. And yeah, this person has some sort of trauma surrounding that when it comes to being abandoned or being left alone here. With the Nine of Wands here and the Page of Cups, we also have the Eight of Wands here and the Empress here. We have the Empress the Empress. You see? Yeah, you're definitely turning your back on the situation here and just focusing on you. Some of you guys are uh, deciding to ghost this individual here too. Kind of harsh. But I feel like sometimes in certain situations, I feel like it is really necessary, especially if people are taking you, taking advantage of you here and taking you for granted. And I feel like this is something that you're not gonna allow anymore, okay? What else do we have here for um, Scorpio? What else does Scorpio need to know? Two of Swords here. And the Ten of Wands, yeah. Seems like you're letting go. You're letting go of, you know, expectations from this individual here you're freeing yourself from this situation and that you're distancing yourself and not giving any more to this individual here okay it does seem like whoever this is yeah this person's juggling you yeah we have great source of power like i feel like you guys could be a power couple here but i feel like you're chasing this person around okay and i just feel like that nothing is happening this person could be chasing uh -huh. you you know, once they chase you and once they catch you and they feel bored, they, they have a tendency to, you know, dip out and start juggling you with other people here. And then this person regrets it or that you're disappointed that you gave, or that you're disappointed that you gave this person a chance here. Here's the thing. One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like if you do separate from this person here, this person will go through the dark night, dark night of the soul here. But the separation needs to stick in order for it to happen here. Because if you keep getting back together with this person here, this person never really learns their lesson. And they feel like when you accept this person back, you know, more and more and more and more and more, this person feels like they are able to get away with it, with their behavior here. So I feel like that's something to really look into and also to consider here too, if you guys plan to get back together with this person. But from what I could tell from the cards here, I feel like it's a no for some of you guys. <coughs> So, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.